Hello everyone, welcome back to the Golden Plateau Sanctuary. Today I have got some, got some new Madagascan animals from Madagascan area. We built a nice tank. And we got these um, Thai Floretus Madagascarensis. I think that's how it's pronounced. They're a type of lion cave sleeper goby we find in the caves of Madagascar. So we managed to purchase them, build a small tank over here. And since they don't have a proper English name, we're going to call them Madagascar Cave Sleeper Gobi. That seems appropriate. And I'm, I'm not going to say that whole scientific name that they got, because I can't remember it. So, Blind Sleeper Gobi. That's what you should be called. Cool. Then we'll build a little roof for them. Keep, keep like a little less sunlight in there since they aren't cave fish. They need a bit darker. I am in pla planning to build the roof over this whole area and build like an exhibit here maybe an exhibit here to complete our Madagascan section but we don't currently have animals for that so maybe later but anyway what we're doing today is we're going to build a new primate exhibit for geladas who are sitting somewhere over there in our holding pens yeah they're going to go right next to the patas monkeys over here we're probably going to get a similar exhibit to the patas monkeys because geladas are also Brown primates, and it's also going to take up a lot of space and a lot of my money, probably. It's okay. I'm going to build that. But before I build that, I'm going to maybe give you a status update on Jason, the the boy who's become being a junior zookeeper for two weeks. So a few days ago, he did have a breathing attack, but he's fine. He's okay. I'll put a picture on screen to prove it. Yeah. He is off there doing some stuff, working with our zookeepers, but we are going to be building a gelada exhibit. It's going to be right over here. So I'm going to build that, and I'll see you in a bit. exhibit right here. So yeah, geladas, they're also known as bleeding heart monkey because uh, of the little hourglass on the chest. Let's see if you can see on this male here. He has... Um, come on. 
circles. You can see on his chest, he has a little red ink patch, shaped like an hourglass. Never get the name, Bleeding Heart Monkey. So, yeah, they mostly terrestrial. They actually the only type of grazing primate. So they eat, they can eat grass. All other primates can't. And you find them in the highlands of Ethiopia. That's the only place you find these monkeys. The monkeys gelados. And they said to be one of the most territorial monkeys, second only to humans. The humans can get very territorial. Let's just go in. And because uh, I know that they're at night they'll sleep on ledges and rocks and stuff, I put like a little rock way. A rock up to climb over to get into their night room over here. I'm scared to go in there. Like I said, they're very territorial. I don't know if they might attack you or what. So, you see there's some rocks here they can climb over. So yeah, we've got our gelatas done, so next. Next we've got to do our gorillas. It'll probably be in this corner. So I'm trying to organize it like old world monkeys on this side in our primate exhibit. Then I want new world monkeys over here. Which means our capuchins would have to move over here soon. But uh, I don't really have anything to fill this exhibit, so I'll just leave the capuchins in here for now. And then we'll leave our limeridia forms over in this corner. And then our apes will be all the way at the back in the corner there. So I'm trying to organize a primate section like that. Yeah, I just realized all our primates are African. Everything except the capuchins. Everything else is African. The lemurs, gorillas, all our monkeys. Maybe we should get some Asian primates here. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.